Hello, and thank you so much for joining me. This is Kanami Anderson, and I'll be leading you through a quick 10 minute Pilates for better posture workout. So we'll be working on three major muscle groups in the body that are key for creating fantastic posture in the body. Number one, we'll be working on our core, but not just the front of our core. We'll be working all four layers, especially our deepest core muscle, uh, the transverse abdominis. Number two, we'll be working on our serratus anterior and lats, so the muscles that create scapular stabilization. If you tend to sit in front of a computer for long periods of time, uh, usually our bodies start to go into this position. So these muscles are key in countering that and creating really great support for our back body. And then finally, we'll be working on our glutes. So if you sit in a chair for long periods of time, these muscles tend to get really weak. So we are going to blast them into shape. So uh, let's get started. Please begin lying down with both knees bent. Rock your pelvis forward and back a few times to feel your lumbar spine move into flexion and extension. And now come into neutral pelvis, which is right in the middle of these two positions. Once you're neutral, it's much easier to engage your pelvic floor, which is key to strengthening your deepest core muscles. Now, pull both hip bones together, your tailbone and pubic bone together, and lift those four points up inside your body. This is your pelvic floor working. Keep that engaged, interlace your hands behind your head, and lift your legs up into tabletop position. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the ground, broaden across your chest, and make sure there's a distance of an orange between your chin and your chest. Let's move into our single toe taps. Keeping both legs at a 90 degree angle, hinge from your hips and tap your right toe down and then your left. Gaze softly between your thighs and use your inhale to lower, exhale to pull your leg back up. Inhale to lower, exhale, use the strength of your abdominal muscles to float your leg back up into tabletop position. All right, let's move straight into our double toe taps. So continue to hinge at your hips, lower your toes down, inhale, exhale, pull back to center. Keep going, give me seven more. Really use the power of your exhale to contract your core and pull your legs back up. As you do this, keep your low ribs locked in and your belly button pulling down towards the ground. Give me one more, exhale, pull your knees back up to tabletop and hold it. And then slowly lower your head down for a moment and disengage your pelvic floor. Take a moment to check in with your pelvis, make sure it's neutral. And now inhale, engage pelvic floor to stabilize. Exhale, curl up to move into single leg stretch. Move your left knee in as you extend your right leg out. Tap the inside of your knee and your outer ankle and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Inhale for two, exhale for two. Move slow and with control. Make sure to time your movement with your breath. All right, let's move into double leg stretch. On your inhale, stretch your arms back and legs forward. Exhale, circle your arms around and pull both knees in to contract your abdominal muscles. Give me three more and keep pulling your hip bones together, tailbone and pubic bone together as you do this. Now straighten your legs, flex your feet to alternate pulling your left leg closer to you, then your right. Take your time so you can feel a nice stretch down the backside of both legs. Inhale for two, exhale for two. Great work. Let's take a short break so you can blast through the last minute of our core series. Keep your legs at 90 degrees and check again that your pelvis is neutral. So a little bit of space between your low back and the ground while keeping your hip bones and pubic bone in the same plane. All right, inhale, engage pelvic floor. Exhale, curl head, neck and shoulders off your mat and let's move into crisscross. Super slow to start. Inhale, rotate to the left and tap your right elbow to your left knee. Exhale, pull everything into the center and hold. Inhale, twist in the other direction. Exhale, pull both knees and elbows in and hold. Keep going. Our last move is putting special emphasis on our oblique muscles. So make sure to twist as far as you can rather than just moving side to side. Okay, let's speed it up for the last haul. Inhale for two. Exhale for two. <sighs> You can do it, keep going. Keep pulling your low ribs and belly button down. Keep pulling your hip bones together, tailbone and pubic bone together. Give me two more. And now extend both arms and legs up towards the ceiling. Reach with everything you've got. Reach, reach, reach. And now just flop your whole body down and release. You did it. Please flip over onto your stomach for our next set of exercises. 
These will focus on waking up and strengthening key muscle groups that create great posture in your upper body. Let's begin with scapular stabilization. Extend your left arm straight as you pull your left shoulder blade back. Create a tug of war in your body by reaching fingertips forward and straight as anterior your back. This is the muscle attached to the bottom tip of your scapula. Once you can see what I'm doing, rest your forehead on your right hand and keep working. As you do this, lift your belly button up and push your pubic bone down to engage your abdominal muscles for more support. Okay, switch to the other side. This time, let's anchor our lower body first. Press the tops of your feet down, flex your legs, engage your core, and now float your right arm off the ground. Work as hard as you can to keep your arms straight as you reach your fingertips forward and your shoulder blade down towards your heels. Keep breathing and relax. Next, extend both arms straight and we'll work both sides at the same time. Anchor your legs, engage your core, and now float your head and both arms up off your mat. First, create support by lifting your belly button off the ground and then create that resistance in your body by reaching fingertips away from you and locking your shoulder blade flat onto your back body. Breathe and release. Stack your hands and rest your forehead onto your hands. Next, let's work just our legs. First, stabilize. Lift your belly button up, engage your pelvic floor and squeeze your glutes. Now float your legs off your mat. Point your toes and reach them back and away from you. Keep breathing. And then slowly lower your legs back down to the ground. Okay, let's do arms and legs at the same time. First, engage your core, squeeze your glutes, then float everything up off your mat. Look down so the back of your neck is long, pull both shoulder blades down, and now reach in both directions with your fingers and your toes. Keep your breath steady and smooth. One more deep breath in, and then exhale, relax everything down to the ground. Okay, let's put all that together for a final floor exercise, swimming. Always start by stabilizing your core, so engage your abdominal muscles, pelvic floor, and glutes, then float everything up into Superman. Start to kick your legs and bat your arms like you're swimming. Paddle opposite arm and leg as you inhale for four kicks, and then exhale for four. Make sure your breath is steady and strong. Okay, I know you're getting tired, but keep pushing for the last 10 seconds. Inhale for four kicks, exhale for four kicks. You got this, last five. Four, three, two, and one. Release everything down to the ground. Take a deep breath in and a big exhale. <sighs> nice, you did it. We are over halfway through our workout now. So take the next few breaths to go through any movements that feel good through your low back. You can bend your knees and let your feet drop from side to side, or just rock your hips back and forth to relax your whole body. When you're ready, plant your hands under your shoulders and push into downward facing dog. Walk it out and send some deep belly breaths to your hamstrings and the back of your legs. Take the next 20 seconds to really stretch it out and slow down your heart rate. Take this time to prepare for your last set of strengthening exercises coming up. Let's move into tabletop on our hands and knees for our final Pilates for better posture moves. We will be combining glute exercises with some more scapular stabilization postures to finish our practice. Float your right arm forward and lock your right shoulder blade down onto your back body. Make sure to pull down with your lats and straightest anterior as you do this. Float your opposite leg back, keep your pelvis square to the ground and your hips in one line. On your next inhale, lower your pinky finger and big toe down as you exhale, float your leg and arm back up. Inhale to lower, exhale to contract through your left glute and right straightest anterior to move your body back to the starting position. Keep going at your own pace. Make sure to move slow and with control. Keep your core engaged and your low ribs locked in as you continue on with this exercise. Okay, next time you lift up, stay here and hold. Let's add some little pulses to really challenge our bodies. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep the movement super small, but the contraction really strong in our glutes and muscles supporting around the shoulder blades. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower your right hand down, but keep your left leg lifted. Check again that your hips are in a straight line and your pelvis is square to the ground. And now let's just focus on the glutes. Inhale to lower left toes down, 
Exhale, squeeze your left glute to float your leg back up. Keep going. Make sure your core is engaged, that your shoulder blades are drawing down your back, and the back of your neck is long and your face is relaxed. All right, let's move into our pulses. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. This is when you'll really start to feel the burn, and I want you to push through it because this is when the transformation in your body happens. This is where all the magic starts. Okay, last 10 seconds. I want you to hold your legs still, flex your foot and drive your heel back. Squeeze everything in to hold steady for last three, two, and one. Lower your left knee down, sink your hips back into child's pose. Great work. Take a nice long breath in through your nose and let out a big sigh out your mouth. One more just like that. All right, you know what's next. Other side and last set of exercises, here we go. Float your left arm forward and slide your shoulder blade down into place. Create resistance by reaching your fingertips forward as well. Float your right leg behind you and direct the outer edge of your right hip down to come into neutral pelvis. And let's begin tapping our pinky finger and big toe down. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift up. Inhale, lower, exhale, contract your right glute and left shoulder blade region to float your arm and leg up. Keep going. Stay strong and engage through your core to create support as you do this. So pull your belly button up to your spine and draw your low ribs into your body. Next time you lift up, I want you to hold it and let's move into our pulses. Inhale for two pulses and exhale for two. Keep your movement small and in control with the muscle contractions in your body strong and all out. Now flex your back foot so you can reach your heel far behind you. Okay, let's hold it strong and steady these last few seconds. Keep breathing for another three, two, and one. Lower your left hand down, but keep your right leg up for this last push. Point your toes and let's move into our toe taps to really focus and isolate the contraction in the right glute only for our last minute. Continue at your own pace. Inhale to lower, exhale to squeeze and lift up. Remember to keep your core strong and engaged. Slide your shoulder blades down and hug them onto your back as you reach the crown of your head forward. Now flex your back foot and let's pulse it out. Inhale for two, exhale for two. You can do this. Push through the burn. And this is when you're really gonna see the results in your body from all your hard work. All right, for the last 10 seconds, I want you to hold still and squeeze everything as hard as you can. Keep going. Last three, two, and one. Finished. Take a well-deserved rest in child's pose. So, I hope you enjoyed your workout. If 10 minutes wasn't enough, I have many more yoga and Pilates videos, so make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can do more with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you so much for joining me.